I'm Eric Peterson, broker and owner of Copa Real Estate. As we head into the new year 2017, everyone wants to ask me what's going to happen with the Austin real estate market next year. So let's talk predictions. Keep in mind since 2003, as long as I've been selling real estate in the Austin area, I've been wrong about a few things. But this is the information that I would give family member of mine if they were thinking about making a move in our area. I believe the market next year is going to continue to go from super hot to only above average. Prices will still be higher at the end of the year, but there will be some psychological differences that might kind of change things for both buyers and sellers. Consumers need to remember that generally you're only buying or selling one home and there are markets within markets. So somebody who's buying a high rise condo downtown, that market's going to be different than a two story home in Leander. For sellers, I expect that we'll continue to see a difference between the homes that are in great condition and the ones that are not ready to move in. Homes that have the updates and upgrades that buyers are expecting in the price range are going to be rewarded, and the homes that are not in moving condition are going to continue to see about a two for one drop in market value. So in other words, if your home is missing $10,000 in updates or upgrades, you'll probably see about a $20,000 drop an expected market price. We've also seen that some rental properties are taking longer to rent, and I expect some investors are gonna pair off their investments early next year. If you have an investment property and you've been thinking about selling, now could be a good time to sell that home and put the money into another investment. Buyers should expect to see higher prices this spring and higher interest rates throughout the year. Even though the higher interest rates are going to impact buying power, we don't think that that's going to impact sales prices just because the job growth and our population growth are still so great that there's going to be that demand for real estate. Where we might see some softness is in the luxury market, homes over $500,000 will probably see a little bit of softness. And if you're thinking about moving up to a bigger home, this could be a great time to get into that bigger home before interest rates go up later in the year. Overall, buyers need to be careful this spring about not overpaying for a home. Typically, when we get into the spring, some sellers are overpricing their homes, thinking that they're going to capitalize on the spring market. It's important if you're buying a home that you're working with a realtor who's been around the block, who's seen the homes that have sold last fall, and can really compare the homes that are coming on the market to the recent sales. If you're thinking about making a move this year, Give me a call or send me a text at 512-791-7473 or an email at eric at Thanks for watching and make it a great day.